Yo, what's up, Freeze Army, and welcome to the Headmaster's Revenge Challenge and the Floor It Feet. My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and for this video, we're going to try and get 20 likes. So, if you can, please hit that like button. So, without further ado, we're just going to get straight into this. So, we're going to start at the main entrance, and all your equipment you're welcome going to need to is America. your coins. That's all you're going to need for this. Nothing else. So we're going to start off here, and then we're going to go over here and grab the wrench. It's the same as before. We're going to need to get the headmaster to disguise to start off this first part of the challenge. So the headmaster's revenge. You're going to need to disguise yourself as the headmaster. Find all the uh, the children's paintings or drawings inside the school, and you're going to need to take out one of the targets uh, which is inside the school while disguised as the headmaster. So we're going to get that wrench and throw out the headmaster's head here, but don't forget to pick up the headmaster's key and put the disguise on. So we're going to head around here and up the, this uh, ledge here and down the pipe just like I did in yesterday's walkthrough for the Silent Assassin suit only. If you haven't seen that yet, I recommend you check that out if you want to complete that challenge. So we're just going to head down here uh, run past this area once this guard has his back turned. I'm going to run straight over to the door over here, which is where we're going to use our headmaster's key. Now there's going to be a guard in this following area, but what we're going to need to do is take him out and take his disguise, because this is the thing. Although you need to do discover the paint, these paint, children's paintings or slash drawings or whatever it is inside the school and take out the target in this headmaster's disguise. You do not need to be in the headmaster's disguise when discovering the drawings or paintings. So we're going to take this guard's outfit and then we're going to get the uh, fulfill the second requirement which is find the paintings. So once we're taking them out and taking his disguise we're going to use the key to get through here. Just stay to the right and you shouldn't get spotted by the guys inside. They're going to climb through the window and up the crate to the right. Just up through this hole and you push X straight away. Now just through here in the door on the left is going to be the first set of drawings. Just walk up to it. If you haven't discovered them before you will unlock a challenge there as well. From this point, you're just going to wait here because this guard is going to spot us through a disguise. So we're just going to wait for him to move out of the way. Sometimes the target will come upstairs just like he is now. And he will spot you through the disguise. So you want to quickly retreat into this bathroom. In fact, just wait here until that guy at the back moves that away. So once this target has his back turned, we're going to head on to the room over here. And the drawings are just going to be to your left here, to your right, and then also inside the room, it's going to be one here, one here. I don't know what I have to do to it, trigger these, I think, I assume you just walk up straight up to them. So that's what we're doing right now. So once you've got all of these drawings, which is that will conclude them all, uh, we're just going to head back downstairs, retreat, and uh, climb down the hole here, and go and get our headmaster's disguise. Now at this point, I thought I was going to be playing with my jump down that hole, then I got a bit, uh, I got a bit lost, and then I kind of lost my bearings a little bit. So I had to take a moment to find out where I needed to go. But this is the way to go. So we finally figured out where we had to go, and it's just out here through the window. So now we're going to put the headmaster's disguise back on and we're going to head back inside. Now the way we're going to eliminate him is uh, the same as we did before. When I say before, I mean like yesterday in the Sonic Assassin suit only walkthrough. Because essentially this is the same... Uh, it's the easiest way and we're not concentrating on any special kills for this particular one for this one. So we're going to just disable this uh, tannoy here. Climb back up through the hole that we just came from. And what that's going to happen is the target is going to head into this bathroom here and peep down that hole. Not through this little peep hole that is. <laughs> or glory hole, whatever you want to call it. So yeah, Mr. 47 is getting a bit excited. 
So the target's heading over towards us now. So that hole in the floor there is going to take a peek down there. And that's when we're going to make our move. We're going to choke him out with the fiber wire. Now there is a guard patrolling up and down that corridor just uh, in front of the door. So you're going to make sure he has his back turned before we take out the target. Otherwise you will get spotted and it will result in a failure. So we're just waiting for that guard to turn around. Our target is in position. So now he's moving away, we can garrot him. And drag his body into the middle of the room, to the left. So that will complete the Headmaster's Challenge. The Headmaster's Revenge Challenge, that should, that, I should say. So, without further ado, we're going to get into the second part of this challenge, which is going to be a feat called Flooring. So first of all, we're going to need to take out the target. Uh, you probably won't have to do all this stuff, but you have to take out the target for me to show you how to do it. So I'm going to just go through it anyway. We're going to try and do it as quickly as I can. I know this video is going to be a long one because of all the stuff that I've had to do. So we're just basically essentially going to retrace our steps through here. And we're going to put the uh, guards disguise back on. This makes it faster for us to get out of here rather than retracing it all the way back through the pipes. Which is kind of annoying. So we can just head down to the left. And what I'm actually going to show you is I'm going to show you well, how to get the key card as well. And where the tunnel is. Because not a lot of people know where this underground secret entrance is. But this is over here. So one of these guards has a key card, and they're going to have a bit of a conversation, and then one of them is going to head down these stairs. Sometimes I will be having a conversation, but on, on occasions the guard will be just here, heading his way into the tunnel. This is the guy you need to take out. He's the one with the key card, so we're going to subdue him and take his key card. And because we're clean, silent assassins. We're going to drag and hide his body in the lockers just at the top of these stairs. They must be very heavy dragging him up the top of the stairs here. The strength he must have. So we're just going to dump him in here. And then we're going to follow the tunnel all the way to the end. And we're going to have a bit of a diversion as well. And I'll explain why. Basically we need to go and get the, uh, the escape key car. We're going to need to get the escape key for the escape car. Rather, I should say. And uh, we need to get into the first floor of the main console building. So I'm gonna just gonna take you through here. So we quickly go through this tunnel. You made it. Most impressive. What is it? So once you head up these stairs, now you want to, to turn right and head through this door just over here. No idea why it's, the door was open. Must been expecting me. So anyway, you want to come out this door and then head in through the main entrance. Now some people can see you through your disguise with this in there, so you're going to be very quick. As long as you run straight to this door over here, the key is just going to be sitting on the table. And that's what we're going to need to use to escape in the car in the end, which will complete the feat. So first of all, we're going to take out the target and then we're going to head on and try and do that. So for this next part, we're going to have to take out the second target. So, so to make this thing a little bit more faster, we're going to speed this up. So, fast forward. Play! 
Also, we're going to hit it from there. Going to take out the target, nice and stealth-like. And again, because we're nice and clean, efficient stealth assassins, we're going to drag his body in an area where he will not get discovered. So we're just going to move his body over here. Chris Evans will not be missed. We're just going to leave it right here. So now we can get on with and do our... Uh, what we came here for, really. We came here to do the floor at feet. Get on with it, Freeze. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to retrace our steps the way we came in. So now we just need to head back down into the parking the parking lot really we need that's where we need to go so it's gonna need to head down the stairs right here take a right and then head down the stairs we're free to run from here so as you come out these double doors and you just head over to this left here there'll be a bunch of guards and behind this big fuck off tank here, there's going to be a little uh, car just here. I'm going to crouch behind it and then push triangle to exit. And that will complete the floor it feet. And that will complete the mission as well. So we're just going to skip that cutscene right there. We don't need that anymore. So the piano man, because we killed both targets with a fibre wire. The headmaster's revenge just pops up. And the floor at feet. So that's going to do it for this video, so thanks very much for watching, and be sure to hit that like button, and subscribe here to join the ever-grown Freeze Army of Assassins, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Also, let me know in the comments below what challenges you want me to do next. I uh, will be taking a note of a few of them down, and I'll be happy to do them for you. So until then, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.